Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer, and in today's video, I'm going to try to keep it under control, but we're talking about, does Code Red believe in a plant-based diet? Mm. There's a lot of health advice in the world today saying that a plant-based diet is the healthiest way to eat. And for years, I thought so too. And I even told my Code Red Rebels to eat meat in moderation and focus on fat and veggies. But in 2019, I attended a conference called KetoCon, where some of the world's leading health experts talked about an animal-based diet. Their evidence was very compelling and completely shifted my stance on plant-based diets from a nutrition standpoint. Notice I said from a nutrition standpoint. It's not about the way that animals on factory farms are treated or the terrible farming practices that strip the soil and cause pollution. This is about nutrition. And from a nutrition standpoint, we're told that plant-based diets, they're more nutritious than animal-based diets. Yet in today's world, there are tribes of people who eat only animal-based foods and they are actually healthier than most people who eat plant-based diets. Plus, they've been doing it for thousands and th tens of hundreds of thousands of years. If an animal-based diet was that unhealthy, they'd have died off a whole long time ago, if you think about it. Clearly, eating animal-based foods is not as black and white as mainstream health advice wants you to think. When done correctly, a diet of animal-based foods can provide you with all the nutrients that you need. When you do it cor incorrectly, yes, you will miss out on vital nutrients. But you can say the exact same thing about plant-based diets. When someone who eats potato chips and soda three times a day is technically eating a plant-based diet, but they sure as heck aren't getting any nutrients from that. I mean, this is why on Code Red, I no longer tell people to avoid meat. If you really want to, you can. I'm not saying that, but I no longer believe in avoiding meat like I really emphasized in my 2017 Code Red Revolution book. I do support eating meat that's as clean as you can possibly afford because it's going to have more nutrients and fewer hormones and medications in it. But you can still do Code Red and lose weight and feel better without eating organic meat. On Code Red, I still encourage people to eat their veggies because if you're not eating the correct animal-based foods... You do need veggies so that you can get enough nutrients. So you need, either need to get your nutrients from veggies or get your nutrients from animal-based foods. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can succeed on Code Red if you don't eat meat for moral reasons if that's, or if you just don't like it. For whatever reason, yes, you can succeed on Code Red. You won't have as many food options to choose from because in weight loss mode, we eliminate some of the staples that people who eat plant-based diets rely on like lentils which we know slows and even stalls your weight loss in most people but yes you can still do it as for me i'll be enjoying my steak and ground beef because animal-based foods like fat and salt have been unfairly demonized by people with agendas so if you enjoy meat too like i do and you want to put together higher quality, more nutritious meat in your body and meat that comes from humanely raised animals, then check out Cross O Meat at coderedlifestyle.com forward slash meat. I partnered with Cross O to have meat from humanely raised cattle and pigs shipped right to your door. It's absolutely delicious and the best meat you could ever taste and of course it's packed with nutrients plus the animals grow up in the mountains of idaho and they're treated with kindness and respect
So to place an order with Cross O, head to CodeRedLifestyle.com forward slash meat and use the code Code Red to get free ground beef in your order. All right. And I'll see you on the next video.